Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your July 2024 Money, Career, Finance reading. Now, I have the fox on here because the fox is considered connection to work here with the Lenormand decks when you do it. And um, I wanted the fox on the table, but I think with some of these cards, it might be uh, too busy with all this on here. So what I'm going to do is the fox is going to still be here, but we're going to play a little peekaboo with this fox. I'm going to cover up the fox. So it's here. The energy's here because it's very important. I, I really do try to put my table together as far as energy, connections, and stuff like that. So I'm going to do this. All right. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to do the reading this way. So we're starting out with your current financial situation. Let's see what that is. And I put green down for money. Money and also healthy. We have Spira, out of control, climbing, the ladder, upward trend, career, revisiting a job, promotion, connections. Okay. Let's see what that's all about. And we have unexpected income Ooh, all right so some money's coming in for you something you don't expect let's see what we get on that okay we have the books here okay so with the books that could have something to do there's information coming in or it could be because of your knowledge that a study you might be going you might be studying something could be something about secrets something about learning it's also be um esoteric teachings too so this this could be referring to that you might be getting extra money maybe through esoteric teachings okay And we have intensity. Ooh. Now that's actually would be the Knight of Wands. So this is a lot of passion, a lot of desire. So I would say something's happening quick or someone's being impulsive too with the Knight of Wands. But it could be saying that you're, you're into something with a lot of passion, a lot of desire. And just like all of a sudden you just... You take off into something new, maybe. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be involved. Let's see. I'm thinking more of your energy here. And we have the moon. Okay, so with the moon energy, this could be referring to something hidden, secret, something maybe being revealed here. Maybe you're uncovering something here. It also could be your intuition. Now, of course... We have the esoteric teachings, we intuition, so yeah, this could be all connected. Learning more, or just, it could be saying that you are very knowledgeable, and you're teaching what you know. And you're earning extra income through that. So take it how it might resonate with you. Now, where will new sources of income come from now? Let's see. Cuttery. So this business tools, needing more money, living well, career, it says food related, sole provider, more work. So someone might be actually in the food industry. Somehow there's, does that make sense to you? So business, so it could be something about where will new sources of income it's your business tools what you know how to use what you know how to utilize i guess needing more money living well but then it could also be somehow connected to the food industry interesting let's see here this is vacation Maybe something about food and vacation that might make sense to you 
or going on vacation you might you might come across something that you you might go on a vacation and something might give you an idea to do something and it might be in the food industry and i mean that could be for some it's not going to be for everyone but it's, a vacation might trigger something or it just means maybe you need to relax and once you can relax then you're ready to go again sometimes we need to take a little break so let's see And there's a, a main person here. Now, this is like an older woman. It could be an older female or just a, it could be a feminine energy. It could be anyone, though. Okay. It might be this, the person that maybe helps you out here. This could be the, the source that you go to. We have, there's a breakthrough here. Yeah, so this is like the justice card. But it's a, wait, no, this is. <clears throat> the breakthrough actually this is purple no it is a sorry the breakthrough is for I, I don't use this deck enough I like it though so I'm starting to try to use it a little more so I can get used to it again so actually the breakthrough would actually be justice because it is the major arcana so there's a breakthrough that justice will be served something will be happening here it almost feels like yeah, something is triggering something Okay, let's get one more. The Three of Cups. So I would say there's some kind of celebration. Maybe something to do with some kind of the food industry celebration. Maybe um, dinner, um, restaurants or something like that. Maybe you're investing in a restaurant. Yeah, maybe you're making an investment in a restaurant. Okay. So, how can you tap into greater abundance in your life? Let's see about that. Okay, look at these cards. Okay. Rose, financial relief, being content, loving care. Now, for the career, we have supported role, job security, growing. Okay. So be more content with things. You're, it feels like you're getting help. You're getting some kind of, I'm going to say compassion here. It feels very compassionate energy. Okay. Credit repair. Okay, so someone might have to repair their credit. And that will help you tap into more abundance. So financial relief. The credit repair and financial relief. That makes sense. Being content, loving care. Okay, yeah. So I think someone might be working on their finances. Maybe paying off some debt here. And that would help. Okay, makes sense. Ooh, we have the ring. There might be a contract coming in. A commitment here with the ring. Yeah, this feels like, so we have commitment, we have um, a bond, a connection. There could be something coming back around too with the ring. Um, completion, it's a circle, it's completed. It's um, a good outcome. It's, it also could be, there might be a proposal coming in. Could be a business proposal, could be a marriage proposal too. Um, let's see. We have two, understanding, and we have postponement. The understanding is actually the Knight of Cups. And then there's some kind of postponement in something. Now this is the Four of Swords. There's, this also also be a healing taking place. But there might have been something you had to wait for. And maybe you're waiting for something to come in as far as maybe. It could be coming from a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. doesn't have to be. A very loving 
connection here or is something that someone's proposing to you or there's some kind of delay though so I expect a delay but it feels like it might have been necessary but it does feel like this energy feels good anyway so I like it let's get one more card We have the Five of Cups. This one to come out too. Wait a second. What's it? And the Eight of Swords. Okay. So postponement because maybe someone is feeling some kind of regret here. There might be someone trying to come towards you with some kind of offer, but there someone's in their head. That's maybe why there's a postponement. Someone wants to come maybe in to heal something with you, but they're in their in their head about regretting what they did do didn't do should have could have would have type of energy if that makes sense now i'm taking it resonates leave if it doesn't so let's move on to is there anything blocking you from your abundance let's see treasure worry-free finances money in reserve excess and then we have career executive sales planning hidden talent maybe you aren't accessing your hidden talent i don't feel like that's it you have to utilize your talents here maybe you're not there might be something else you could bring to the table that you're not thinking is is worthy of bringing to the table but it might actually be a treasure that you're just not utilizing so let's see what we have here we have entrepreneur yeah maybe you're not really reaching out and doing your own thing and it could be that maybe you are in one area but maybe there's another area too that you i feel and again expertise you actually have this expertise energy towards something but maybe you're not thinking it's so i feel like someone's not actually given it enough acknowledgement or something okay let's see whoa look at that <laughs> oh is this because right away i got someone's mother in their head i feel stronger than anything for most of you this might be someone that is passed over and it's in someone's head saying well how do you think you could do that but, 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 but i don't think that and it could be something that you like to do it could be like an art or something like maybe you're a good artist but you didn't utilize it but now it's like well we're not getting money that you know all artists are poor it's like that's the energy i'm feeling someone has someone's what they constantly said to them to put them down in their head and i normally don't get that but that's what i'm getting here but this also could be because this is um what's blocking you it could be a, a female energy or a feminine energy that feels like they're blocking you somehow maybe maybe not could be yourself too you could be the feminine energy it could be your own thoughts but so i was getting that like you know no you can't do this blah, blah. and someone thinking about it so either it's your own thoughts that you're keep on saying over over your head but or someone that um used to say things to you like that okay let's see well whatever it is don't listen to that that voice in your head whether it's yours or someone else's that one is, is a negative one if you know ask your angels to help you with that if there's if you keep on getting this repetitive energy coming in ask the angels to block that say i only want the positive and what's meant for me not the negative not the destructive okay let's see We have, yeah, there's going to be a celebration here. Or it could be saying that maybe someone parties too much. And this could be blocking you from your abundance. Because someone's always partying. This could be this voice in the head saying, stop doing that. And that would actually be a positive thing. But will you listen? So we have here... This is a queen of swords. Yes, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or it could just be the energy of saying, cut that out. You know, and then we have here, this one too, we have the king of wands. This is a very creative energy, the king of wands. So this is um, 
Okay, for the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the King of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this could be just saying that um, this could be these energies trying to block you. could be actually people that you know. It could be also the Queen of Swords telling you to cut something out. And um, it could be that somebody wants to cut out maybe a King of Wands or... Um, the King of Wands is very creative, very charming, very good looking. You know... I'm getting told that you have, you know, everybody has different different connections to these signs, if that is what it is, or the energy of the signs. It could be different signs, but it could be the energy of the signs. So you take it how it might resonate with you. Okay, so on to the next one. Let's look into the opportunities to consider. Let's see if there's opportunities you can consider here. Anchor, money blocks, being stuck, financial sound. Now, career, we have water-related travel, stable for now. So, you could either be stuck or you could be stable here. So, there might be something about maybe something over a body of water. Because this opportunity to consider maybe working someplace else, traveling over water, being in the water, on the water, um, water related, something to do with water. <clears throat> okay. The water industry. Oops. Okay, so we have here death paid. Ooh. So you're going to be paying off your bills here. We had a card here about that, right? What was this one? Credit repair. And your debt being paid here. Nice. Okay. Got two here. Okay, we have a main male here, which could be your energy or someone you're dealing with. It could be a significant other. Um... And we have here a message. So it might be that a message is coming in to you from someone. Or there's something coming in. Or this could be from this person. Or this. Because this card here, the writer, is a messenger. It's a rival. It's a visitor, maybe. Um, something new, though. It's, it's helping you advance. But, of course, the depth is being paid here. There might be a stable connection coming in. Maybe someone's feeling stuck, but it might be coming in. Almost feels like. What happens if you're you're stuck at the moment, being blocked, or, but it says financially sound. Things are working, but there might have been money blocks, being stuck, financially sound. It's like, you know, almost contradicting here. Here we have money blocks, being stuck, but then you're financially sound. So are you okay, but not achieving, not growing? Stable right now, but... But here's some kind of news coming in. And it's going to help you pay your bills. Okay. There's something to offer or something coming in here. Some kind of advancement, a contract maybe even. Paperwork with the writer. This comes in really quick and it doesn't stay. It's like a, a quick message. So we have here new vision. Which is um, like the hangman energy or Pisces energy. So you're seeing things differently. Maybe after, and that was like waiting for something to happen. And then we have maturity here. And with the maturity, this is actually, um, this is the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So you're seeing things differently. And by seeing things differently, you're gonna um you're gonna see this new opportunity because you have ace of pentacles. This has golden opportunity that's coming in for you guys. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. In the right time, something's coming in. You might have been struggling a little bit here and there, but it feels like things are the wheel of fortune is starting to turn, is changing. Turning in your favor, I would say. 
because you're it's going to be like maybe you're trying to repair your credit and the universe saying okay okay capricorn's working on this so let's help them out because you really have to help yourself before you get help from others and then you were saying okay you deserve our help now and we're going to help you and we'll give you this opportunity now um how will these opportunities benefit you okay let's see skull rough patch borrowing money low on cash and then we have for the career hospice healer no work reinvention okay this is going to help you because you're going through a rough patch and maybe you had to borrow money because you're low on cash but there's some kind of healing taking place and also could have been saying okay there was no work so since there was no work, you had to reinvent something and and start something new, which is maybe why we have like that entrepreneur energy coming in, maybe doing your own thing. What it feels like, feels like you maybe you have to, I don't know. It feels something like that. Maybe you're doing something different, adding something to something. Okay, let's see. We have toxic work environment. Yeah, you you might have to move out of an area, and that might be that's what's helping you. Is it felt like okay, if we don't give you money, you need to make money. So this is how this opportunity is helping you. You'll take the opportunity. Maybe you're not sure about it, but you'll say, "I have no other choice." And it's because that's the direction the universe wants you to go in. Maybe it won't be your final destination. But it will be the step in the right direction. Okay. Oh, yes. There's some kind of movement here. This, these opportunities coming in is going to help you move forward. This is always progress forward when you get the storks. Always. So, this is delivery. Also could be about pregnancy too, or giving birth to something here, because storks are you know connected with pregnancy. That might be for someone here, but we're going to take this as there's progress, there's positive change, delivery, movement, relocation maybe. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's get another card. Oh, so here we have slowing down. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This might slow you down, or this might be, you know, something that it takes place very slowly. Or it might be the fact that it was a slow progression that helped you because now we have compromise. And with the compromise, this is um, the Six of Pentacles. So we have two Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is compromise. There might be something that's helping you to compromise, to know where to maybe put some energy in and where maybe not to to something to balance yourself out here okay the magician you're manifesting this so whatever what's happening here is how would these opportunities benefit you they're helping you manifest more it almost feels like by Feeling in this energy because, you know, if you feel, if you're in, it's so hard to manifest when you're in the energy of lack. I know. It, and it's like, oh, yeah, just think positive. That's easier said than done. Exactly. It is easier said than done. But it's necessary. It's necessary for when you're trying to manifest, you have to act like you already have it. 
So this is going to help you because you're going to get some kind of money coming in here that's going to make you feel more comfortable and you're going to be able to build that. So that's how this is helping you with this. And, there, and you have the golden opportunity coming in here. So, and the magician, you have all the tools you need to manifest. Okay, so let's see about the potential outcome. There we go. Heart. Emotional spending, joint finances, being supported. And in the career, we have counselor, guide, having a job you love. So in the end, you might not be there exactly yet, or you might be, you're on your way, or you're about to be on your way if you're not. It's like these are stepping stones to get to the job you love. It's almost like it's necessary to go through certain jobs to get to the job that you really want. Okay, and what you don't see coming here is a tower, earning power, building a business, sound decision, and career. We have corporate, job power, unstable position, but it also could be because this is a tower. It could be something had to come apart in order to something come together. And this is almost like okay, this is what you're not seeing. There might be um, you're building a business and you're making sound decisions. You don't see this yet, but it's coming in. Okay. Oh, you're getting new assets. Look at that. You want a brand new vehicle? It's there. There it is. Okay. And what we have here is. What's this? Doing it sideways. It's like, okay. Okay. This is. Oh, multitask. That's what it is. Okay. Let me put this this way. You might be, what you don't see, there might be other things you have to do. You might be multitasking. You might be you might be juggling something. Or you might have to make a decision, too. Um, but the multitask might be that you're doing a couple different things. And you know what? I th said that about bringing in your assets. There's other things that you're capable of that maybe you're not utilizing that will bring you a lot of extra money here. So let's see. So we have, look at this, the anchor. So this is great. This is stability here. So there's something coming in here. You're going to feel more secure. You're going to have stable. You're going to, um, you're going to be achieving your goals. There's something about a arrival maybe, commitment. And um, it's for the long term. So yeah, you're going to get to where you feel more comfortable. Like, okay, I, want, I don't mind staying here. But you might be in a couple of things where you don't like at the time, but they might be necessary. And we also have here, this is the cross. You know, there's a lot of burdens, a lot of obligations, a lot of um, things be that you're not seeing that maybe you had to just go through. Maybe that's what this is about. This is what you don't see. Maybe there's some things that you don't need to know. I don't know if this is your energy or someone else's because I feel like you're doing well. It almost feels like this is contradicting. It's like you're getting this, but this is what's actually there. Does that make sense? But this is what's coming in. Unless this is what your beliefs were that okay, everything has to be hard. It's got I gotta I gotta work harder. I gotta multitask. I, and but really. In reality, just do what you love and things will fall into place. Okay. You know, that's the whole thing. If you do what you love, eventually things will work out. Follow your heart. So we have here harmony. Look at that. You're coming into harmony. This is the Ten of Cups. This is a happy family, happy home life. And the bottom here, we have awareness. You're becoming more aware. Opening up to things. It's the awareness in this deck is actually the seven on the major arcana. So it's actually the chariot. But this is like you're becoming aware of what you it took to get you here is what I'm, I'm seeing. What you don't see is that once you get here, actually it feels like once you get here, you can look there. <laughs> if that makes sense before you couldn't look there 
because it was too painful or, or you couldn't you wouldn't be able to move on if you've really seen how much was going on if that makes sense i hope it does okay one more Ooh, we have in the last card you are coming into the emperor you're owning your own power you're in control and we have here, look at this for this card on the bottom here. We have this multitask and we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is someone that multitasks. It seems like you do a lot of multitasking that I don't, for somebody here, I feel like they don't even realize they're multitasking when they're multitasking. Because it's just a, a natural state of being for someone. But this is bringing you into this awareness, the harmony, um, being in control here and in the end it all looks good so you're a lot of times we don't find out what why we had to go through what we had to go through until later and that's what seems like it's coming up with your reading okay so let's see what signs we could possibly be dealing with this replacement your chart placement other people charts, past present and future Aquarius Pisces Capricorn Cancer Aries, bomb deck, we have Sagittarius. Okay, so placement, your chart, placement, other people chart, past, present, future, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, and Sagittarius. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have I, L, A Y L So we got I lay <laughs> L F F M M J L So the letters we have for today are I L A Y L F F M M J L. All right, guys. So I hope it resonates with you. If not, you know, um, I'm not. Don't think I'm gonna be doing all the signs. I'm waiting for my guys to tell me where to stop and where to go with this. But um, I, I don't think I will be. But thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate you so much. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.